this is the second zoom comparison using One UI 6.1.1 for the Galaxy S23 Ultra on your left and the Galaxy S24 Ultra on your right. But before we continue, it's good to watch the first comparison where I tested 3x, 5x and 10x and that's very important because remember the S24 Ultra just scrapped the 10x optical zoom and replaced it with a 50 megapixel 5x sensor. So it's good to see what the phones can do with that and in the first video the S24 Ultra kind of took the lead. 3x, 5x and 10x. But before we continue I have some important news for you. It seems that as of now Samsung decided to pause the One UI 6.1.1 rollout for the S23 Ultra. Why? Well, if you ask yourself your question, you're not following my videos. Apparently there is an issue with Scene Optimizer and the whole image processing, which when you use zoom from 16x to 1909, a lot of ghosting on the images, they are just absolutely the worst. So for the sake of this comparison and for the comparison I did yesterday, so please make sure to watch that one as well, I've turned off the scene optimizer to just get the best footage I can from both phones, of course minus the bugs. And I have to say guys, the S23 Ultra is really a legend, if you want to understand why, watch the video. Alright, so the first sample is a 12 megapixel photo shot with 20x. And on the S23 Ultra, we're using here an f of 49, so that's again a crop from the 10x camera that has an optical zoom. And we can also see that the S24 Ultra is using an f of 3.4, so it uses the 5x optical camera. And you can see this for yourself, I hope. The moment I start to zoom in, and let me equalize this for you, clearly the footage from the S23 Ultra just takes the lead there. All the lines you can see here, clear, straight lines and lots of detail. The picture from the S24 Ultra is what I used to call a water paint. So clearly the S23 Ultra still leads when you're using this sweet 20x zoom. But what about 30x? Well, let me show you. This here is the 12 megapixel photo using 30x. So let me directly start to zoom in and show you the differences, but I do believe they can really just poke your eyes. The S23 Ultra again on the left using a crop from that 10 megapixel optical zoom sensor and the S24 Ultra on the right using an f of 304 using a crop from the 5x camera. And I do believe that it's quite obvious what we can observe here. Just take a look at this photo here and take a look at these tiny little things like the paint on the wall. You can recognize it's a graffiti on the S24 shot. It really looks like water painting. It's so much digitized, doesn't really look great. And also the greenery is the same. It's not perfect in both shots, but definitely better on the S23 Ultra. And what I do like is that you can see also the artifacts on the wall that are simply not so well reproduced on the S24 shot, but it gets only better. And this here is the 12 megapixel 100x shot. Again, it's a crop from the 5x zoom camera on the S24 Ultra on the right and a crop from the 10 megapixel optical zoom camera from the S23 Ultra. And again, don't think it's really perfect, right? It's not, but you can clearly recognize what you see on the left. So we have a wall with a graffiti. We can even see the artifacts here and absolutely nothing in common on the shot on the right. And now guys, a lot of you ask me, can you do this inside focusing on an object? And yeah, of course I did, because it's important to understand really what happens inside. And now for the sake of the comparison, let's start with a 10x shot. My observation based on the footage yesterday's comparing all the samples was that the S24 Ultra was consistently better when you're using 3x, 5x and 10x, which was not the case some months ago. And here on the left, you can see 10x optical from the S23 Ultra and 10x that is actually a crop from the 5x zoom camera on the S24 Ultra. We have a lot of noise on the S23 Ultra. It doesn't really look that great. And also pay attention to the colors. Definitely a better shot using 10x on the S24 Ultra. But this video focuses on 20x, 30x and 100. So let's check those samples. This here is the 12 megapixel 20x shot. And I do believe that the results are really quite obvious. Just Pay attention to Spider-Man. If Spider-Man himself had the chance to choose, I can tell you, he'd be choosing the S23 Ultra. Take a look at the colors, the logo of Spider-Man. Everything so much better. And not only the main object that is on the focus, but also what happens around the object. Now take a look at the painting here. 
right? Not so good on this 24 Ultra. Overall, the center of the image is the Spider-Man. The 20X shot, definitely a win for the S23 Ultra. And from here, of course, we need to see what happens with 30X and 100X. This here is the 30X shot from both phones. Again, it uses a crop from their highest available zoom camera, so 5X on the S24 Ultra and 10X, all right? The old 10X, 10 megapixel sensor, on the S23 Ultra and the shot from the S23 Ultra is so much better, right? You can just see it with your own eyes. Let's examine the logo, all the lines here, the texture, the details, simply not in the S24 Ultra shot. Pay attention also to the wall. There is no wall here in the S24 Ultra. I guess that at this point of time in the video, you will most probably know what follows with the 100x shot. Well, let's confirm it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the 100x shot. S23 Ultra on the left, S24 Ultra on the right. I don't even think that this comparison deserves any type of commentary, but okay, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Just take a look at Spider-Man's face, the mask, right? You can still recognize that it's Spider-Man on the S24 Ultra, but oh boy, doesn't look so great. Take a look at the lines, all right, absolutely deformed on the S24 Ultra and it looks so much better on the S23 Ultra. So the good news here is that despite we thought Samsung might be degrading the camera performance from the S23 Ultra with the latest update, it seems that for now, at least from 20x above, that's not the case. It's really interesting what's going to happen with the final update and also with One UI 7 because 10x right now and 5x and 3x definitely better on the S24 Ultra, so they might want to keep it that way, but at least we can now confirm that the S23 Ultra remains the legendary form, specifically when you want to use 20x and above. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and if you like videos like this, you know what to do. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.